Did you ever go back into the game after you got a concussion? Oh, yeah, and on the minor ones, you know, the ones where you're not unconscious, you, you, you play through them. You don't know it, you know, you, you just think you just got hit real bad. You, your eyes go cross-eyed a little bit, and you wait till those uh, straighten back out, and you're not seeing three guys instead of one, and uh, have to pick the guy in the middle, you know, it, you, you just push through it. Did you realize at the time that you were suffering concussions? Um, yeah, you realize that it could be a, potentially suffering from a mild concussion, but you know, yeah, that's football. You say that your case might be unique from what we're hearing. It's not unique at all. Yeah, well, my, like I said, it, it comes later in life. And, uh, later in life? You only stopped playing a year ago. Yeah, well, uh, that's why I say mine is kind of unique in my, in my instance with you know, my generation or my friends that have experienced, uh, haven't really experienced what I've experienced through my career. And because I'm experiencing them at a young age, I feel it's important for the younger players to realize what's in store for them potentially. Are you worried about that, what might be in store for you? Yeah, very worried, very concerned. You mentioned that you have a son. Mm -hmm. Would you want him to play football? If he wants to, for sure. You know, but by the time he's able to play pro football, he'll be, he'll be wearing flags and nobody will be able to touch him. And I'll make sure he's a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs>